Well, this month is National Foster Care Month, and it's a great time to take a look at the amazing people who open their doors to help kids in need right here in our own community. Here in Florida, there are more than 8,000 in foster care, and there are many ways for the community to get involved. Joining me this morning is the Director of Community Health Services for Dam Daniel, Jamie Miracle. Hi, good morning. Good morning. I love the last name, the Miracle. Oh, thank it, you. For many of the foster, their children, it really is a miracle. Tell me about foster care in, the, in, in this area. There, there's a great need. There sure is. The role of foster parenting is truly inspiring. A foster parent can have such a positive impact on a child's life in foster care. And although it's not for everybody, the people who do open up their hearts and their homes to children in need, it's truly a calling. Yeah, and, and there's a big uh, need in the area. You're telling me especially for, for teenagers? Yes, uh, especially locally, we do need a lot of foster parents that are willing to work with the teenage kids. Yeah, tell me about how can, you, how can someone get involved in foster care and how, let's say someone's thinking about it. Mm -hmm. How would they know whether or not it's a good idea for them? What would you tell them? Well, I would say that a foster parent needs to be really educated on what issues that kids have when they enter into foster care. Kids enter into foster care due to unfortunate circumstances in their biological family, such as uh, physical abuse, substance abuse, domestic violence. So there's a number of reasons why children would enter into foster uh, care and need good foster parents. How would a parent or a potential foster parent get involved? Well, the good place to start is family support services. There are a local lead agency here in Jacksonville for foster children, and they do an outstanding job um, recruiting, training, and then licensing traditional foster parents. Are there a certain requirements that a parent has to have to, to be able to take in a teenager into their home or any young child for that matter? Yes, um, a foster parent has to be at least 21 years of age. Um, they can be single or married. They can rent their own home or own their own home, and um, they can work outside of the home. But um, one really important factor is that they have to be willing to work within the system of care. There's a lot of professionals that are working with each foster child to make sure that permanency happens in a timely manner, and that foster parent is one of the most important players in that process. And I imagine being in the business for 13 years, you've come across a lot of parents who have, you know, who have great success stories. And, you know, who continue to be possibly a part of their lives or can actually watch this child, watch how they have helped them, watch the child flourish. Sure, and one story that comes to mind is we had a 13-year-old uh, enter our Daniel's Therapeutic Foster Care Program. Her name was Shauna, and she came to us with um, a lot of emotional and behavioral difficulties because of the trauma she endured with her biological family. And um, she entered one of our foster homes, and the foster parent and her bonded so well that she was able to overcome a lot of her difficulties through therapy, but mostly with the support of that foster parent. And she's doing so well educationally now that she, her career goal is to be a pediatrician. Oh, awesome. And this past March, that foster parent adopted her. Oh. And so at 15, she's adopted now. That is what it's all about. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate your time. We'll be right back.